Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the new plugin manager window in Cubase Pro 8. Historically speaking, Cubase has had the plugin information window for quite a while. And if you click on devices, then plugin information, you can access that. Now, this is a useful window. However, all it really does is give you a list of plugins you have installed and their file paths. Definitely useful, but not quite the functionality of the new plugin manager. To get to the new plugin manager, you just go to the same drop down menu, the devices menu, and choose the entry right underneath plugin information. Now, what this window does is it provides a list of the effects and VSC instruments that are installed on your computer and allows you to view a list of all the effects and VSC instruments that are loaded by Cubase when you launch the program. This list is created automatically every time you start Cubase, and you can also rescan if you need to as well to keep your list up to date. So the really cool new thing that this does besides give you a database of your plugins is it lets you create custom lists of effects or instruments called collections. This enables you to pick out plugins that you commonly use for certain workflows and put them into their own little favorites list for quick recall. So let me demonstrate for you how to do this. Up here in the top right hand corner, you click the plus button for new collection. And you can either add all plugins at once or if there is a current collection that you've created, you can copy it over to this, but we're just gonna make an empty one. And we'll name the first preset we create, Music Production. Then all I have to do is click through this list and simply drag and drop the plugins that I use a lot in this particular type of workflow. Now I'll create another one and we'll call this post-production. Then drag some additional plugins over. And we're finished with this part of the process. Now, create an audio track. And if you go over to the inserts section of the inspector, and you click on one of these little triangles here to the right that says select insert. Now you can see we have all the different collections we've created or default. Default is going to be your master list of everything that you have on your computer. But if I am working in a certain genre or a certain workflow, I could just simply click here and choose one of the ones that I created. And now we have that customized list of favorite plugins. Once you check this feature out, you'll definitely want to use it as it's very convenient to have a preset of all your favorite plugins available at the click of a mouse. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by.